it is such, such a tough time to be in the arts right now. And I think even if you have a job and even if you're working, I think we, we're, we're all feeling the struggle right now. My name is Caitlin Thames and I am the director of Little Shop of Horrors. My name is Donnell Francis and I am the director of music and pit orchestra for Little Shop of Horrors. We as artists will find a way to come out of this pandemic better and stronger than, than ever. I think we're already pushing the limits of finding what we can do and how we can still bring art to people, even with the restrictions on it. You know, trying to have a live audience, but keep that live audience safe, or whether you're trying to do it on Zoom or whether you're doing it live stream, um, we are going above and beyond to try to find ways to share art with people. Obviously the biggest concern is what if we get quarantined the week of, of the shows? It's always a concern. But uh, I think what I enjoy the most is that everybody's looking out for each other. Everyone's wearing their mask. Uh, we're cleaning up after each other. Uh, we're sanitizing. Uh, we're staying six feet apart as much as we can. Uh, so we're taking the right precautions, which makes me feel safe. Oh, you're barely alive. Quarantine and COVID-19 were obviously some of our um, some of our biggest concerns as we started the process. And so one of the first things we established was that we would have understudies for all of the main roles. And so what that allowed us to do is when we did have some instances in which we had some cast members who were quarantined, we had plenty of extra people that could stand in at rehearsal. And then also we utilized Zoom whenever possible. And the actors that were quarantined Zoomed in so that they could see what was happening so that they could make notes in their script. Um, masks were a concern at the beginning. Um, but I think, I don't know, I think we've all been masked for so long that we've started to learn how to, how to do more with our eyes and how to do more with our voices. And I think that I'm so proud of my students and for the things that they have done to compensate for the fact that they realized that this part of their face, which is normally what they would emote with is covered up. And so they have made up for that in inflection and in tone and in the emotion that they put in what they're saying, as well as their eyes and their eyebrows. Um, and so it becomes about bigger, it becomes about more, which is kind of what musical theater is anyways. And luckily Little Shop with just the campiness and the over the topness of it, um, we are going as far as we possibly can while still remaining genuine to, to the show. We are staying masked during rehearsals and during the performance for safety. It's something that our school and our fine arts department decided to do, um, but the kids have risen to the challenge and I think it is still a phenomenally entertaining show to watch. I'm excited to bring a new element to the show. Instead of having a soundtrack playing, the opportunity to have live musicians is thrilling um, and it's gonna bring in the stage to life. The students that are, that are around me, students that I teach even in the classroom, uh, you know, they're very smart um, and they are looking to better themselves and Having been there before and seeing where I am now as a teacher, uh, just being that influence, being that big brother for them, um, you know, it's not just playing our instrument, you know, it's preparing these students for college and, you know, what it's like to be in the real world. Um, this is my 13th year as a high school theater teacher, and I think the most important thing that I've learned is that um, at the end of the day, it's not about 
me. <laughs> it's not even all the way about the final product. It's about the journey. It's about what the kids learn along the way. So it's not about what the audience sees on the final nights. It's about the support that they have given to each other and the support that I hopefully have given them along the way to feel good about the product that they created. Being a high school theater teacher means that my audience and who I'm, who I'm doing this for is for the kids that are on the stage at the end of the night. And that's what matters to me. I would say there were times in especially me <laughs> uh, being in college where I wanted to give up on music, uh, where I wanted to, where it got hard, but I stayed with it. Um, and that's what you have to do. Uh, always be willing to learn, uh, stay humble. We recruited a family here on campus to build our puppets for us. They had actually built puppets the last time that GAC did Little Shop, and so they were on board. And immediately, one of the first things that we really wanted to establish was a color scheme for the plant itself and to keep that continual as the plant grows, to keep it consistent, and then also to find a shape and a style that stays consistent, because a lot of times as the plant grows, what happens is the shape begins to change and morph, which is fine, but we really, really wanted to keep that shape as similar as we possibly could. But then also you have to think about how does it work and how is it, is it light enough to lift, which ours is pretty heavy. We. Um, made the decision to cast Audrey too as a girl. Um, and so I think anytime when she's on stage, we have blocked some things where she interacts with the puppet and interacts with the people on stage. And it is, gosh, it is so fun to watch. My favorite song in the show is Get It. Uh, it's the one where me and Audrey too uh, sing to each other, where I find out that she is alive and we can speak. And um, it's my favorite song. It's a showstopper. Um, everyone loves it uh, that does it. Everyone in the audience loves it. And I have so much fun singing that song. I would have to say that my favorite song from the show is Get It, just because of the energy that's on stage with my castmate Michael and I, and um, just because the song is so much fun. We have four different plants. So there's a plant A, B, C, and D. Plant A is in a little coffee cup and it's just a hand puppet. And then plant B is a jacket that we created for Seymour to where his hand goes in the puppet and we have a fake hand around the jacket. Plant C is a person that wears the puppet like this and then they sit in a pot and they open like this. And so that's kind of more person sized. And our D plant is massive. We call her Big Mama. She is six feet, seven inches across, and we have not measured how tall she opens up to, but it's, it's very tall. Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm playing Seymour Krellborn in Little Shop of Horrors. Hi, I'm Ciara Wilmath, and I'm playing Audrey. Hi, my name is Kayla Murphy, and I play the role of Audrey too in Little Shop of Horrors. Um, I am Max Merton, and I played Orin. My name is Thomas Butler. I am a senior at Greater Atlanta Christian School, and I play Mushnick, the shop owner in Little Shop of Horrors. My name is Milani Anderson, and my role in the show is one of the urchins, and my specific character name is Ronette. Hi, my name is Georgia Thomas, and I'm playing Crystal in Little Shop of Horrors. I'm Olivia Patrick, and I'm the dance captain. I would definitely have to say the most difficult thing with rehearsing during COVID is wearing a mask. The masks and having to do choreo with the masks on. It was difficult to keep masks on and stay apart. It's just so weird having to wear a mask when like singing and dancing because it like falls down. Normally we just get to sing freely and you don't have to worry about social distancing and staying safe. But now we have masks, we have to stay six feet apart in most cases. Um, the rehearsal process was weird and strange, but surprisingly a lot of fun. Um, it's been a really interesting process to learn how to act with just the upper half of your face because um, we have to wear a mask just like to keep the whole cast safe. We do have understudies, but even so, it's just so important to us to keep our program, you know, well. <laughs> Good direction from Miss Thames really helped us to like find ways in the scene that we could 
get the same message across without the physical contact that it usually has. The actors are very close and personal, so not being able to exhibit that in most of the rehearsals has been difficult, but we manage. So I was actually quarantined uh, during the process of rehearsal. I think it was like actually the first week uh, right after winter break. And uh, me and my whole family had to stay hunkered down inside of our house for two weeks. And so I had to actually do the rehearsal over a Zoom call. Um, it was very strange uh, to say the least. And I, I was a little frustrated at first, but uh, once I got back, uh, I just got right in and I did everything that I needed to do. And it was awesome. Um, my favorite part is probably learning new choreo. I'm a dancer, so learning new choreo is really fun for me. Um, my favorite part of rehearsals was definitely getting to hang out with everyone because the cast is so fun. And also just being able to perform like a great show in front of all of our friends. To even be doing a show, let alone a full-blown musical with a live orchestra is rare to come by, especially during a pandemic. I'm just really excited to be able to do a show in COVID times because it's so hard to put that kind of stuff together. Um, my favorite part of rehearsal is just seeing everyone, my friends, that we've just been together since freshman year, so it's been really fun. Um, my favorite part was um, being with all my friends and doing the thing that I love. My favorite part of rehearsal overall was um, getting with my other two urchin girls and learning all of our three-part harmony. It's just been so awesome to get to be their friend, to get to know them better. I think my favorite thing would probably be working with the understudies. Um, I feel like since we're in um, this COVID uh, pandemic scenario that we're in, um, we had to work extra hard with them uh, because it was so important that they got to do a show as well. So theater in a pandemic is hard. <laughs> and so as we were looking for shows and looking for really opportunities for the kids to be on stage, our first priority was still safety safety for the actors and safety for the audience. And so as I started reading scripts and thinking about it, I was looking for a script in which we could emphasize the, the distance um, and, and be able to block and stay six feet apart whenever possible um, and to not sacrifice any of the storytelling. Um, and one of the things about Little Shop is that each character is almost kind of their own little island. Like all of Little Shop is about these characters who are longing for connection and can't quite find it. Um, and so with Little Shop, we feel like we were able to do our best to keep the actors safe um, and also at the same time not sacrifice any of the story. Um, and also it just felt like a, I don't know, I guess we could have picked a super fun, super happy show <laughs> to try to make everybody feel a little bit better, but it felt like, I don't know, it just felt like a great way to kind of like wrap up 2020, 2021 with this idea of being careful what you wish for, <laughs> because you never know exactly how things are gonna turn out and a year with the best intentions can go very crazy very quickly. Just like a plant that looks very innocent can go very, very bad very quickly.